The first heading under which we discuss microbes in human welfare is in household products. Household products means we are using so many microbes in our uh, daily activity in our house and we don't even realize it. The first one is lactic acid bacteria. They are normally known as labs. And the full form is lactic acid bacteria and we use them to convert milk into curd and how do we bring them from where do we get these bacteria these bacteria are there in that one spoon of curd which we add into the milk and you must have realized that whenever we are trying to make curd season temperature is also very important so, in, during winter season, it takes a little longer for curd to settle or milk to get converted into curd. Whereas, during summers, it's like 4-5 hours and the process is done. So, what is the difference between the two seasons? The difference is the temperature. And these are the microbes. This conversion is due to enzymes which these microbes have. And we know enzymes work best in the optimum temperature. At lower temperature, the enzymatic activity gets slowed down. So when the temperature is little moderate, or what we do is, if you have to get the curd made in winters, we usually lukewarm the milk, then add that one spoon of curd. That one spoon of curd is known as inoculum. That one spoon of curd has millions of bacteria millions of these lactic acid bacteria and then you cover it or keep it in you know in, uh, in a place which is slightly comparatively warmer or maybe cover it with a cloth so that it remains little warm so that the process takes place quickly now lactic acid bacteria one they convert milk into curd but they also increase the nutritional value curd is better because it is partially digested milk and secondly these lactic acid bacteria they increase vitamin b12 so they increase b12 that is cyanocobalamin and we need this b12 for rbc formation and maturation plus these lactic acid this is one advantage curd is partially digested so it is easy to break down it into simpler uh, molecules and that is why whenever your stomach is upset and or tender normally you take uh, curd instead of milk or anything else because it's partially digested half of the process is done these bacteria when we take curd these bacteria also come into uh, our elementary canal and these bacteria they secrete anti biotic antibiotic production is the property of these bacteria or all bacteria for that matter these antibiotics would kill the germs in our food so the food which we eat will also bring some uh, bacteria or some uh, pathogens so this antibiotics it kills so basically when we eat curd we are getting so many benefits and that is why you must have realized that in a typical Indian food you will always find some or the other item made out of curd. So these are lactic acid bacteria, lactobacillus lactis, lactobacillus bulgaris, lactobacillus bulgaris, lactobacillus lactis. These are some important lactic acid bacteria. Lab is a name given to the group, not to the individual. These are the individual bacteria. So they help in curd formation. And we have been using this in our house almost every day. So these bacteria are helping in uh, making this curd, which is very beneficial for our uh, elementary canal. The second household 
thing that we use microbes in is normal fermentation when we make idli and dosa. So the second thing is very common in household. What do we do? We take the black gram, soak it in water, rice, soak it in water. And then after 6-8 hours of soaking, you grind it and keep that batter. After a few hours, maybe 6-8 hours, the batter starts to rise. That is fermented. And now you use it for making idli and dosa. And that is why idli is spongy. The dosa has, you know, those holes or those tiny perforations because of which it becomes crisp also. That is again done by microbes. We don't add any microbe, but the bacterial spores which are in the air, they keep falling on that and they are the ones who actually do the process of fermentation. The next one is, the third one, is making cheese. Nowadays, cheese making has become an industry, but earlier it was a household thing. It was called a cottage industry. People used to make cheese at home. And what exactly is in the cheese? There are multiple steps which are there. First, the milk is converted into curd. Then the curd is further treated so that the solid curd separates and the whey separates. Once that solid part separates, which is known as hung curd, then we let the microbes grow on it, either the fungi or bacteria. And different types of cheese, they have different flavors, they have different aroma, they have different taste. And this taste or aroma is because of the microbe which we use to ripen that cheese. So cheese making is also very uh, important as a household uh, thing also, as a small scale industry. So if you're talking about cheese, there are two examples given in our book, that is Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese is famous for big holes. Now what are these big holes? How, how are they formed? So any carbohydrate, say glucose, gets converted into pyruvic acid. This is glycolysis that we know. Pyruvic acid gets converted into acetaldehyde. Pyruvic acid is a 3 carbon compound, acetaldehyde is a 2 carbon compound. One glucose, from one glucose we get two pyruvic acids and two acetaldehydes. So if you see, here there are six carbons, here there are two, total four, and two carbon dioxides are given out. And these acetaldehydes will get converted into ethyl alcohol, two molecules. So if you use half of the reaction, that means only this much. This is used in fermentation which is to get anything fluffy. Like even for baking, we just add yeast into the batter and half an hour and we can bake it. And if you let this reaction complete, it will be alcohol formation, it high alcohol. So, in case of cheese, those bubbles are of carbon dioxide. Big bubbles are there, which is a characteristic feature of Swiss cheese. And we use Propioni bacterium charmani. Propioni bacterium This is the bacterium which is used to make Swiss cheese. Another example of cheese and as I said nowadays we are using it as um, an industry to make cheese but earlier it was a cottage industry. People used to make cheese at home and then they would sell it. The second one which is given is Roquefort cheese. Roquefort cheese and here the, this particular cheese is ripened using penicillium. Penicillium Roquefort tea. And so the name Roquefort cheese. 
there are many different types of cheese which are made. So here we are using a bacterium to give it a particular aroma, taste and here we are using a fungus, penicillium variety. So it can be a bacterium, it can be a fungus which is used for ripening of cheese. And the next thing which is again household and now it has again become a commercial and industrial thing is to make local alcoholic beverages or drinks. For example, toddy. It is a local alcoholic drink. It is made by fermentation of palm sap. This is specially found in southern part of uh, India where palm is, uh, you know, palm trees are huge in number. So they keep taking that sap out and then they use it. So it becomes like a local thing. Palm is available only in the southern part of India so people can use it there. You cannot make this drink, you know, in, in, anywhere else because number of palm trees is going to be very less. Similarly, this is in southern part. If you talk about MP and Chhattisgarh, there is a plant which is called Mahua. It is a local uh, tree here. So what they do is they take the petals of the flower, keep it in a barrel, let it ferment and the drink is also known as Mahua. And because fermentation is going up to this stage. So if it goes up to alcohol, then the drink which is obtained is an alcoholic drink. Similarly, in Goa area, cashews are more. So they ferment those broken cashews and the drink which is obtained is known as feni. So these are local alcoholic drinks and till date also people are making these kind of thing, things in their household. It is a very small scale, it can be for the family, it can be only for a small community. Not on industrial scale, but it is a local thing which is happening. And this is an household thing. So these are all the applications, these are all the uses of microbes in the household uh, products. Everything is done in the house, small level thing.